This is Matthew from Blue Matador, the Alert Automation Service. One common problem in Amazon CloudFront and S3 deals with negative TTLs. How long to cache the absence of an object at a specific URL? Given an S3 backed CloudFront distribution, it's possible to get a 403 forbidden even though the item was just uploaded. First, understand the eventual consistency in S3. New items may take time to propagate through redundant systems and be available in all locations. Second, understand that CloudFront's default policy for handling errors like your 403 forbidden is to cache that error for five minutes. The solution is to modify distribution settings in CloudFront. Go to the distribution, error pages, and create a custom error response. In S3, when an item isn't present, S3 will return a 403 forbidden. And then specify your caching minimum TTL. The default is five minutes. I recommend five seconds. A low TTL does mean more requests from the CloudFront edge to your origin, which can make denial of service attacks worse. But for S3, that shouldn't matter. I recommend five seconds for S3 backed distributions. Then click Create. Within 15 minutes, your distribution will be updated and newly uploaded S3 objects will no longer cause extended headaches. Now, if a user visits a URL before the asset has propagated in S3, it will only be broken for a few seconds instead of the full five minutes. To completely alleviate the problem, give S3 at least five seconds for propagation before ever requesting the asset through CloudFront. After you've lowered the negative TTLs, you'll probably notice the number of CloudFront errors drops proportional to the number of user complaints about the missing resources. Thanks for watching. To proactively verify your AWS infrastructure is set up correctly, try Blue Matador, the alert automation service.